on your toes, man. We thought that we entered a throne, but it looks like the layout of the entire castle scrambled. What is that? We don't have toes, mate. Don't act so smart, Einstein. <laughs> that means Shepard knows we're here. Everybody get ready for action. I'd say we check for the kitchen. If Shepard's not in the throne room, then he should be in there. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> Dark! Step aside, Kinpig. It's time to lead us into battle. Angry birds, it's time to get lit. Whoa, whoa, slow your roll, Red. We're not used to those powers yet. Let me take over. Day, kid. Angry birds! And pet piggies. It's time to get angry! Good birds! Not bad, kid. Always got to that fight. <laughs> Blues, show them your most devious prank. That's gonna go pranking with us? Yay! Try your you guys! Almost look away! Good on yellow anchor boy this. Well, well, well. Look who decided to play. Back for revenge, huh, Gail? Oh no, the plastic in our oceans is back. I see you're trying to stop Sheffy from getting coronated. Sheffy? Well, you'll have to get through me and my gold first, because I have to get coronated too. Come on, Silver, let's get out of stop! Dibs out of wow! Careful, mate! Wait, the golden egg guys, stay back! Look out, Earthlings! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, why do I feel so thick? Flip? That's very flattering, Stella. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be my power. Whoa! Whoa, I have health power. Oh man, we're so confused. We can't fight like this. Yo, an ice ring. <laughs> Whoa, I fell down like a meteor. Ollie, whose power do you have? Uh, hockey's my only power, dude. Wait, Ollie doesn't have a power? Yeah. <laughs> my family's known for being notoriously bland. I'm a simple bird. I see humans doing stupid things, I laugh at them. <laughs> Whoa, slow your roll, Stella. You're not used to those powers yet. Let us handle it. Hey, old pigs, watch the real men get to work. Angry birds, it's time to get angry. Minions! Boom! <laughs> How about it, So you can beat my speed bomb? Oh, yeah! My hair! Kage Mojiro Jutsu! Did somebody get that? I got it, I got it! Now what do we do with this song? Throw it back! Okay. We're free! Whoa! I feel good! I knew that I would that. I feel good! I knew that I would that. Sing it, baby! Yeah! So good! So good! I got you! Oh, kill it, Bob! Kill it! Boom! Now for your extra precaution, this is for Jacob the Jerk! Uh, where am I? What the...
Take us to your leader! Yeah, where is he? Do I look like a bird that would simply chirp my answers for you? Yes. Well, I'm not talking for anyone. Hold them back, you guys. <laughs> Can you believe they're scared of a Simpson? Not at all, Gregory. Yeah! yeah! Any luck? No, sorry, Red. We couldn't crack it. Crack? Are we breaking alien skulls next? Are we gonna split her brain in half and see what's inside? Wait. No! Aww, you're no fun! I know, right? Besides, I already called in the experts. You really think we're experts? Sure, you're the best interrogators I know. The only interrogators you know. Aw, thanks, Red! Oh, my feelings. Oh, my redness. All right, buddy! We're gonna do this the easy way or the hard way! And you're not gonna like either! I'm gonna say this simply for your pea-sized brain. Where's Chef Pig? Like I'll tell you, you old man. Wrong answer! That's it! No more chocolate for a month! A uh, handsome pig gives me dollar store quality chocolates anyway. What me mates mean to say is that we're gonna oxidize all of your gold into bronze! Take a good listen, boys. It's the sound of victory. Oh man! I totally see people do that in detective shows! <laughs> okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you! King Chef is just down this hallway. The room is very bright and shiny. You can't miss it! Thank you! Thank you for your patronage. Yoink! I wonder why everything else is kept so dark. Man, y'all are freaking out over nothing. Ooh, spooky! I wonder where we are, Red. Hey guys, status report. Where are you guys at? Good eye, Red. We just left the kitchen. We couldn't hold Bubba back. He ate too much. Chocolate! Can you see anyone down there? Silver? Girl, for the like of me, I can't see squat. Yeah, neither do I. Hey, Red, can't we just use our clones to look everywhere? Ooh, great idea. That means we could get this done in no time. Uh, it's okay, Blues. Save your strength. This could be one of Shepig's plans. He could try to make us exhausted before the boss level. Alright, I'm gonna check over here. I'll see y'all around. Hey, what the heck? How did I not hear? Wait, did you just go in a circle? No, no, no. I, I swear I went down the hallway and but let me try. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Wait, are we trapped? Are we doomed to run back and forth for the rest of our lives? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, we want to try a prank like this. Oh, are you seeing this? What's going on over there? Oh, uh, we heard you through the microphone, mate. Right now we're trying to see if Terrence can teleport out of here. There goes that hypothesis. That's impossible! Hello! Your Highness, I can't track your locations! You might be trapped! Wait, trapped? Yep, that confirms it! We're trapped! It's like being back in the Zoltar Tunnels! Hold me, Ollie! No, 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 Isaac, it's a good thing. That means we get to play hockey as much as we want. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> Any luck on your side? We're inside of a vent. <laughs> Make an Among Us reference, and I'm gonna snap your neck like a twig. We don't have necks, Corporal. Then I'll go after your mother instead. <laughs> hey, Mechanic, your spy movies get it wrong. They didn't say anything about air vents being this dirty. <laughs> Whoa, what's the hold up, Piggy? I think I found the exit. Follow me. Wait, soldier. We don't know what's on the other side. Hey, Samson. Hey, Gregory. Move it, maggots! All right, freckles, we're waiting on you. Now I'm gonna land right before I hit the floor. Out! Hey, 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 guys, can you quiet for a sec? Why? <laughs> we got company. I'm about to whip somebody's ass. As if things can't get any worse. Uh, uh, Siri, are we gonna get out of this alive? Who would have thought our poor girl would turn into this? Piggy. Any tips against this robotic miscreant? Um, well, sir, you've seen his laser and his brute strength, but he has very sensitive hearing. Even a pin drop is enough to trigger that guy. Duly noted. All right, boys, remember step two? Remember how to take an egg away from a sleeping bird? Uh, be as quiet as an atomic bomb, uh, not ready to explode, sir. Correct, but this time it's not a drill. Now keep going. Uh. <laughs> Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba, good times never seem so good. What the heck is he doing? He's trying to lure us out. 
with catchy songs. Ay ningun person. Una otra canción. So no one told me life was gonna be this way. <laughs> Your job's a joke to bro, your love life's the away. Nuggets, come on, keep moving! Okay. Have a nice day. You too! <laughs> Encontre a ti! Wait a sec, the weird cosplaying pig got out before me? What to do, what I to do? I remember what Mighty Eagle said. Stress clouds the mind, and solutions that have yet to be found. Hey, how? what's your input? I mean, good for him. That means he could just put a teleport base and then have us teleport out there. My words exactly, Greenbird. Oh, thank you. All right, Corporal, give us orders and we'll start attacking. Don't worry, boys. I have a better idea. We surrender! Yeah, two areas stupid too. We decide to give in to the new bad piggies. Take us in as your war prisoners. Hey, Corporal, what are you doing? It's not part of the Royal Guard Protocol, Corporal Pig. Yeah, I hope you know what you're doing. Don't worry, boys. Trust me. We, oui. Ollie, you're not helping. And you're skating on my brethren. Again! The pigs are surrendering? That's not cool. And I'm made of ice. Oh, hey, man. What's up? Oh, I know what they're doing. See, Red, I told you there's a solution to everything. Hey, Mechanic, do our earpieces have, like, some type of telepod thingy or whatever you call it? Well, the sound waves coming from our marks, Red, can easily translate to a telepod base, which means you can easily triangulate a location there. Yeah, yeah, I know sign stuff. Blah, blah, blah. We can get out of here, I know. You know, Red, sometimes I think you're as smart as me. In the meantime, Angry Birds, Bad Piggies, get ready to charge! On it! Okay! I gotcha. Gotcha, mate. Ready to shred the ice, dudes? Uh, yes, sure, if that's what the Earthlings say. Don't die on me now, Corporal. Pretty soon, messieurs, we will start with the coronation ceremony. Your Highness, I got us some new guests. Ow! Is this the so-called resistance everyone keeps talking about? My have they fallen. Makes a lot of sense for their incompetent elite leaders. The throne room. What happened to it? I did something that your miserable king couldn't do on his own. Do things for himself. The effects of the piggy elites has truly run them down the drain. Will you? Taking advantage of my monologuing? Dang it! Mechanic said that it always works! Shall I escort them to the jail, Sheriff? No, I have a better idea. Hey, it's just a fan fiction you talked about. Uh, yes, sir! Don't worry, Mechanic, the plan will work. But still, there's so many uncertainties. I'm not sure if 007 can handle himself. You wanna rescue him yourself, Mechanic? Then hop in! No! <laughs> And how do you suppose we're going to break into the castle? <laughs> I have the perfect plan! It's a nice weather we're having, huh? Yeah, but I wish we could attend the ceremony itself. This is the greatest plan! <laughs> Tally-ho! Hey up, lads. Whoa, dinner! Sorry, lads, but dinner is cancelled. You're only able to do that because you're a nerd! Oh, grow up, 007. <laughs> Do you really think we charge into battle unprepared? You're not the only one to learn from our mistakes, Shep Pig. I'll take care of the first one. Yeah! My hair! Oh my god, my god, my god! We're out of the labyrinth, guys. Now here's the ugly minotaur. The angry birds? How did you guys escape? I was sure I had you guys running in circles. He's throwing the food! Get him! Ow! Thanks, pigs. Stall a little more. We can only teleport one at a time. You really think you could stop me with this stupid display? That's right. And I have 13 reasons why. One! Oh, no, you don't. Two! Oh, 
Shoot! Shoot! The cooking pot is hot! Dex! Got it! You want me? Oh! I didn't know you want to rematch that bash! Mm. What the? Shoot! Mm. Five! Eight! Woo! Nine! Oh, it's a great day, but... Ten! But... Oh! Get out of it! One. Eleven. Get it. Twelve. Oh, got you there. Get away from that boy. I'm going to try you up, Turkey. Oh, my other eye. Fourteen. Hang on, boys. Here comes the real king. Whoa. Oh. Ah, nice landing. Who dares disrupt my coronation? Coronation, Chef Piggy? That's just some bad comedy. Have fun trying to beat the Angry Birds now. <laughs> Very well said, sir. Sacre bleu. This can't be. I have all the power. I have all the control. I basically have them as my puppets. Yet they still surpass me. My hair! I can't possibly beat them in a fight. Unless... Just Wings of Resistance thinks the tides have turned. They are transported into an alternate version of the luscious throne room. The Resistance engaged in combat arrived, demoralized, as if their hearts sunk so low that they didn't allow any of the fighters to move. Meanwhile, the great and powerful Shift Pig stands indestructible in front of the defeated army as the behemoth unveils a special surprise. Tony, are you alright? No, I'm okay. Oh, wait a sec, where did you guys come from? We did what you did! Get the book! Wait, where are we stuck? Iceberg, did you freeze us upon him, fact? Hey, Ross, mechanic, what's going on? Well, we can hear you guys, but not very well. Lost shit, big time, with the communications. Might be because we're in an ultimate dimension of some sort. You guys need our help getting out of there? Not yet. Looks like Shepik is going to finish us off personally. But one way or another, we're getting to the point. Not even a threat. This is a promise. Well, if you say so. And while you guys are at it, can you find my dad? He's probably in the dungeon somewhere. We'll give it a good try. Not if we have something to say about it! <laughs> oh no, 007, we're not equipped for combat! You ruined my appetite. Now I ruined your face! Reach for the sky, mother lover. Oh, uh, Red, we might be delayed a tad bit. We're in a pickle of bone! <laughs> It's fine. Hold him up while you still can. We gotta make sure this French snack doesn't get any backup. Now for my coronation speech. You have no choice but to listen to me. You are all stuck on the ground. You have Piggy to blame for that. Shoot! He used the page I'd written before? It all started with the Treaty of Versailles. The French were known for ending many wars. And with this book... I will annihilate you filthy ants who started your stupid war. In a way, you already acknowledged me as your new king, seeing me and my army as an actual threat. And it's only customary for a new king pig to start his role by eating some eggs. The Spurgeon is talking nonsense. Yeah, he's bluffing. Ain't no way he got our eggs. That is where you are wrong. Monsieur. <gasps> Yo, yes! yes! That's right, Monsieur Fat Man. I did what you could never do in your entire rule in a measly ten minutes. If you do anything to those eggs, you're going to be very sorry. What can you do? You're powerless against me. You can't even move right now. And your precious mighty eagle is too busy fending off the rest of my army. So you have the eggs, why not just eat them already? You're lucky I can't hit you right now! I learned from your mistakes, you ignorant buffoon. I hid the eggs in a place where you can't find them. And just to make sure that you don't do anything funny. in one go, your arrogance will be the downfall of you. Corporal Pig, you don't know Chef Pig as much as we do. The Angry Birds can handle this, while you bad piggies focus on taking care of the king. Affirmative! 
Hold your ground, maggots! If you want it so bad, then try and try it from my cold, deadly knives. Your funeral? <laughs> Guys, you can move now! I'll hold them off! You broke my spell? I'll break your ghost play! <laughs> gotcha, mate! You really, really want that rematch, huh? Switch out in place, Red. Blue, is you ready? Ready! Hey, bros, get the ultimate prank running! You really think you could defeat me a second time? What's up? Got it! Yeah. Ow! Now, Jay, no! Whoa, what the? I can't see it. Sorry, you broke it. Oh, I have the bigger sword. Time to deep fry this way again. Get on, scrub. Get it! Double! He's unconscious! Summon giant running point! Oh, it's a... Any last words, little man? Looks like I'm played, sucker! Whoa, 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 heads up! Oh, ooh, nice save, Orange Bird! Now, the discovery field filled the vision. Sliced onions? And a little sake? You are better, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Whoa! Whoa, 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 What is this stuff? Is this sake? Yeah. The floor is slippery. And... Hibachi Chef finish. Yes, now it's finally time. Uh. Ah. Oh. ah, my eye. There was nothing different. Hey, you saved that, though. Whatever it is, Isaac, keep it up. We need it for the second phase. Is it your eye burn? A little, uh, but I can still keep going. Come here. Ho, ho, ho. Right behind you. Ah! Yeah! Uh, what nasty! Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot! It's turning back! Uh, it Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, uh, hey! Not at this house, sucker! Suck and blow! Why do I always forget? Oh! Got it with your lies, fellas! Yeah, okay. Oh no, I'm not putting any terrible recipes from you in this book! Oh, how dare you! So, how's the Apache onions, monsieur? What? Well, I cooked to please you, monsieur. So let me get this straight. The pig who wants me dead wants my proof of whether or not his food is good? Well, monsieur, in reality, get out with you with your bad oh, self. Don't wait on that! Damn it. I'll show you that I'm more than garbage that you can just throw away. Whoa, what are we doing here? Watch you in the ceremonial room. I thought I died. Not that I was somewhere else. Doesn't matter. Get them! Piggy, it looks like the fanfic is not getting another writer anytime soon. Is there another possible weakness? I know this is a long shot, but I think we should let him attack us! Are you insane? You're speaking mutiny, maggot! This is just a hunch, sir, but like any notebook, it has to run out of space! So maybe, just maybe, we just let him attack us for a while. And look, he's trying to fight us while trying to summon things at the same time! So we fight him until he runs out of ammo? Brilliant! Seppi, can you hurry it up? I'm trying to save my manicure. You wouldn't want to with your makeup, but I'll ruin it for you. <laughs> How dare you! Got to blood of your burgers to slice. Go away, Hal! Huh? you see this? What are you on about? Time to make you a part of my menagerie, old man. At least on the last days, you're mine. Time to unveil my greatest experiment. With the help of mechanic, I was able to make this. I'll turn that into gold, too! If you wish to defeat me, you're a 400 years too early, Mike. Gee, guys, are you alright? Oh, that was amazing! What is that? Oh, it's just something I picked up when I was playing the winner with the knights. 
Let's protect the queen! Hey, lead Queen Elizabeth out of this! Come on, Seals, let's go! Try and catch me now, Stella! Hey, mechanic, I wanna do something! Perhaps you can! I call this the King Sling, Your Highness! <laughs> What am I doing? Genius initiative, your highness! Stop yapping and pull me back! Yo, man, I see you know what you're doing! Come on, I see you guys doing plenty of times! It's like that, your highness! So I can't pretend to be high? That's good! Body slam! Hey! Hey! You ought to cheek! Bring us food! If you want food, here, take this! Exploding chewing gum. I can do more damage than you tinkering in my workshop, waiting for my first spot of tea than what you could do in the full year of service. You'll never take me alive! Come on, that way! Oh! Hey, what the? 707, what have I told you about returning everything in pristine order? Woo! Fuzzy dies! This is my most prized possession, something that I'm particularly proud of, and I'm not letting you touch it! What is it? This is my universal cube. It is my personal teleporter that teleported us here. Whoa, will this rescue the professor? That's the smartest thing I heard you said all day. So, let me turn these dials here, and voila! Wait, 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 I'm looking for the professor. I'm not even supposed to be here. Mechanic? My teleporter brought us here by mistake. Oh well, might as well lend them a hand. Now make sure this stays in one piece, Ross, and I'll turn them into a million pieces! <laughs> Big Red said we got a drunk driver! Foreman! Trouble on the Western Front! Whoa, we're using that already? Bunch your sire, Samson! Let's him for the Shelly Realm, Gregory! We did the joint training regiment with the Angry Birds. We noticed that they combined their greatest assets. So Foreman and I did this. We made a move that resembled the Nagasaki bomb back in World War II. I call it Nagasaki Round Two. <gasps> the rope! Whoa, I got it. Whoa. Ah! Exactly, blow your dead in my crown! Haha! Well, jolly good yes. show! See, Gregory, I knew Corporal and Foreman would get along! You said it, Samson! We passed up, Terrence! Well done, Bob! That was awesome! Yeah, Matilda, we nailed it! Mwah! Oh, shoot, uh, excuse me. Party foul. Nice work, Blackbird! Up top! Oh! Oh, well, it's just a hairline fracture, sweetie. You should be fine. Taste some lemon juice! Ah! Ah, my eye! Dang it! This old rust bucket's in our way. He's an old family enemy, truck. We need most of us going after the book pronto. Until they'll focus on healing. Where have we been? There, you guys should be here by now. Thanks, it's Matilda! You're the best! Well, I know. No worries, Earthlings. I'll finish him right here and now. I wouldn't be so sure of Iceberg. Especially with her behind me. Hello? What are you doing here? Well, hey, Ollie. So, we just found out that the eggs are missing. And, uh, my friends and I looked, and I looked in Piggy Island, and, uh, yeah, I ended up here. What happened to you? So, uh, I was taped to his back, and, uh, yeah, I got that going for me. Now, if you destroy me, you'll have to destroy her first! Uh, Molly? Pass off my lady, you mongrel! Give us a sip, Neil. Let's play some real hockey. I can give you as many cups as you need, Ollie. While you're at it, keep him away from Seth. Go ahead, Red. Leave him to us. Come on, Chuck. We gotta get out of Romeo's anger. <laughs> now for that spire attack, Tony Tony. <laughs> Hey, man, what's going on over there? Oh, hey, our family reunion. Hey, wait, get over here! 
Level clear! Wow, this was a nice family reunion. <laughs> oh, say. Wow, you guys really are Angry Birds. Great job. Got a problem, Hambo? So you're the one that's been picking on my cousin. You're next. You know what, the Bird? I'll take your advice. I'm gonna join my family now. Sheesh, what's this problem? I'm the only one who's safe here. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> my, my hair! Side Porkador! Those repairs really went to waste. I will finish off that family. Don't even think about it! <laughs> hey, right, Tempty, get ready! Yeah! <gasps> Not there, Stick Shot! Pray to any god you wish. I will always be a step higher than them. I wish you'd shut up! Says the one who's always full of himself. At least not full of snails. You really think you'd rival a god? Of course I can. Hello, your highness. Boink. Got it. You're cornered, chef pig. Na, 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 we're gonna catch you! Great! I used up all my gold, and I still see you here growling! Shut up! Monsieur, this is hardly even fair. You were so used to your prestigious kingly status that you look down on those below you. Have you not thought twice about what that would do to your royal subjects? Sheesh, he sure likes to run his mouth. We run our mouths, Foreman, because you do not never listen to us. And we took matters into our own hands. Don't even think about trying to justify your pathetic actions, Frenchie. What else would we do? We're animals. We're doing whatever we can to survive. The royal pigs never had to work hard in their lives. They don't even know what survival of the fittest really feels like. Some people are born great. Others are not so lucky. Some loser decided that natural selection commands our destiny since we were born! Alright guys, this might take a while. Don't worry, Piggy. We got you. We'll stop. Look, Chef. Is power really all you want? Whatever happened to respect? Silly Blackbird, don't call me that. I always strive for respect. And power seems to be the only way I could get respect! But you have the power to change lives for the better! Why waste it on by putting others down? Because I have this power to begin with, that I could never wield before. What's the point of this power if I don't use it? The privileged will never understand! You're not the only one who gets frustrated when things are beyond your control. But will that book really give you everything you could ever want? Life isn't perfect. There will be many gaps as you get older, and you can't change that. But the only thing you can change is how you can react to these unfair circumstances. There will be debts and people who put us wrong. Persevering despite that is a testament to your strength. That's the only respect and power you could ever want. Says the bird who borrowed Mighty Eagle's power. Come on, Isaac, I'm making a point here. Well, I can't believe you're actually listening to them, King Pig. All I ever wanted was the respect of my peers. What can I say? I like to cook. Sometimes our condition is very nice, monsieur. I strive to be the best chef I could ever be. But my customers, they... Uh... Would you say that you don't like my culinary masterpieces? No, 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 I do like it when you cook for me. It's just that... They're terrible, Chef Big. You're just saying that to push my buttons. You never were the best at receiving constructive criticism. And how is treating me like low class consider constructive criticism? Yo, guys, come on, chill it. Let's just say that if you make General Sao's chicken, it wouldn't be suitable for General Sao. And what would you want? Kurt souffles? Cakes? That Spongebob popsicle? All I ever wanted was to expand my list of culinary masterpieces. 
And you always justify your heinous actions with this stupid class divide. And let me show you my finest recipe. The book! Mm. Oh, it's not really good. Man, he just likes using that gravity paint, doesn't he? Just <laughs> Come with me, my queen. It is time to rise above our ranks. With this power and my status as the new king, the very first thing I will do as king is to remove this stupid divide and make all pigs equal. They're resistant to a bunch of fools. You have all wasted the 30 minutes that I need in order to coronate myself. Which reminds me. Finally, the peace of resistance. <laughs> it's fatal if a pig uses a rage chili, is it? I, I'd assume so. I'm not the one dying here, Miss Yorks. And now, one final hit-punching finish! The losers. How in the blooming heck did I get mixed up in this rubbish? Oh, Quarterglet, get up! Somebody's here! Uh, is it morning already? I'm not ready for school yet. Well, the cart's missing, and I have no clue where we are now. Unfortunately, it reached its cool-down phase before we could find the professor. Hello? Can you lads hear me? Oh, it's the professor! Oh, thank the queen your lads are here. Can you please help me out? Ahem! It's a metal cell, and I can see my reflection, but fear not. Mechanic Pig will fix it. Freedom! I've been without soap for days, you splendid gentlemen. I can't even thank you enough! Silver's going to be really happy to see you again. You're cracking again, Professor. No, 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 these cracks are already here. I think my clay is giving away. Anyway, we're suffering. I can't wait to get justice against this fake king. He's currently fighting the angry birds and the bad piggies, sir. Wait, you with a terrible British accent. Are you telling me that the angry birds and bad piggies are working together? Well, yes, and how could you tell this is fake? Everything that's coming out of your fake British mouth sounds cringeworthy, um, if you don't mind my saying so. Well, what are we sitting around for? Let's kick some serious butt. Um, we might have to wait a while, old man. My teleporter device is still in its cooldown phase. Nothing like a brisk walk to lift our spirits. Come on, youngins. Let's get this to my lab and get it fixed. Soap? Gangway, youngins. Ah, all my ovaries. Oh, sacre bleu. That ultimate move took a lot out of me. I always wondered why you angry bugs don't use your ultimate moves first. In due time, my queen, you're going to be coordinated after me. A pig with no empty promises. That's what I admire about a king. Hold up, hold up. Really? It's not what you ladies want nowadays. It's not all a guy has to do. Quiet, handsome, the adults are talking. Would anyone else like to oppose me? No? Good. Well, you're all on the ground. Bow down to your new king! You dare call yourself a king? You're nothing but a tyrant! I am many things, my old enemy. But I am not a tyrant! Do we really need to go through this <laughs> Well, at least we'll be safe. <laughs> Everybody, push! You yes. Butch, like your lives depend on it! It actually does! Oh my goodness! The birds and pigs are finally working together! I got exactly my bird! Thanks, you guys! Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Oh. Nice work, my queen. Thank you, Chef Pig. Really? It's not really all it takes. Colonel Tusk. Colonel Monaghan. Colonel Sanders. I have failed you in the helmet. This is not what Sun Tzu envisioned. Plus, you, everyone. Final time, bros. Can't wait. Oh, not this again. Ah, we got him. 
get them! You have to get to me first, you witch! Diabolical prank is always booze. Ah! Guys! The prank that you now explodes when you try to get it! Hey, hey, what, what's going on? I will finally be coronated as king. You said three days until I got the crown, correct? Yes, but the general consensus has to consent in you- Get done with the ceremony! Not honor that! What I meant to say, your highness, is that I forgot to give you the royal pledge. Go for it. Do you sincerely swear that you will take care of your subjects? That you will take any responsibilities necessary to make sure that the pig empire remains the alpha species of animals on this island? I sincerely swear we'll want to be this. Then by the power invested in me and in the state of South Jersey, I declare you, King Chef Pig, the new king of Piggy Island. Thank you, Doctor. Now get out of my sight. Yeah! It's official, boys. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no! Finally! After no, so long! And as my first decree as king... Oh no, this sensation. We're about to be mind controlled. King Pig, take this! Oh, my toy tank? Hal and I put mods on your toy tank to make it extremely powerful, but you could only use it one time. It was actually very easy to tinker with because Earth technology is nothing like the space technology I had at home, which is... All of our pranks? And who destroyed our clubhouse? Wait a sec. Silver talked about something like this. What do you mean, Jim? She said that she was empathized by Shepping! That is correct, Bluebirds. Shepping! Don't I browse this in my mind for the I cannot be touched, fool. Oh no, then what do I do if... There's no other way to do this. The resistance has failed. Your efforts were futile. Willow! Your sacrifices are useless! I am your new king! What is the sensation for you? I don't know, Corporal. But I'm starting to lose hope. Sit, my That means... Seize the fake king! Ooh. Oh, heck no! I can take you all on! Okay, maybe not you! Oh, <laughs> father! What the? Angry birds? Sorry, Terrence. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Ah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. How did you guys get out of the mind control? I am more irresistible than that French degenerate who always have an ace up their sleeve. And we got tired of listening. I'm sorry, Red. We're not! Hey, oh. What are you going to do, piggies? You know I can wrestle. No excuses. Whoa, all right, King Pig, I see you. Now to get this out, let the feast begin. Jeez, what's gone into these guys? Dude, we gotta trigger their memories somehow. Yeah, right. Angry Birds, listen up. Did you really forget why you stuck around for this long? I'm sure you would have preferred to do other things, but there's something blocking your way, is there? This goes for you two kids, if the pigs put you in a tight spot. Always remember these words, okay? <laughs> we really got new eggs, and there's nothing you can do about it, Red. Oi, 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 oi. Lap it up, piggies. You're going to be crying in a second when I kick your butts and take my eggs back. Yeah, come on, guys. Step out of it. We got a job to do here. Keep your chill, y'all. I know this is a tight situation, but y'all homies got each other. Um, I'm hungry. Uh, this is a few. How about them? Uh oh. Looks like they're about to combine attacks. Take over, King Bang. <laughs> Nani? Summon us! Hey! What is this treachery? Witness the ingenious scribble of Piggy McCool! <laughs> what is this madness? Hey, that's my line! But I saw you get blown up! Oh, that was just me not trying to make you feel bad. Why, you little. I knew you wanted me just for my magical book, 
So I took them extra precaution by making myself immune to the fan fiction. Not if I can find that page. No bother shipping. I wrote that in pen. Sacre bleu. Whoa, you look smarter than you let on. Dang, man. And since you look right to the end of the fan fiction, I could assume that you ran out of pages. In the words of Corporal Pig, you're out of ammo, maggot. This is the Battle of the Witch, Chef Pig. And you're powerless against me. <laughs> you wrote this in pen, but not everything else. Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're gonna... I am going to reuse one of my pages by erasing one of them. Huh? Sorry, Chef. But we don't take orders from you no more. My heart belongs to Gil, Bobo. No, it doesn't. You dare disobey your new king? I should send you to the Shadow Realm, all of you! Is this really what you call your last resort, Sheriff? You're more of a fool than I thought. Crud! Did I accidentally erase the page that guarantees your loyalty? Now what kind of sheriff would sacrifice his partners? A king with unreasonable subjects! If you really want the respect of people, don't you think you're not doing enough? No matter how much power I have, and how much I give, it is never enough for your donuts! Ah, oh, the food tastes terrible! Turn it into something else! The neighbors are so loud! Make me a freaking infinity gauntlet! My one chance of being an indisputable king, and you all damn soiled it! SOILED IT! That sounds like a you problem, my guy. Awkward. Hey, King Bay. Yes, Redbird? Does the chef argue with you a lot? Oh yes, like a rash! Yo, y'all wanna plan a counterattack while this is going on? Seems like the best use of our time. Chuck, do the honors, please. You got it, boss man. Uh, Chuck, nothing happened. No, 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 you're in Chuck time with me. This is ultimate Chuck time. Original Chuck time only lets me slow down time. Well, ultimate move Chuck time allows me to go even faster than regular Chuck time, and I can pick who gets to slow down time with me. All right, dang man, that's sick. Crocky, my pelvic foreman. Get that mind controlling butt out of here. Whoa, Bob, wait, how is that mind controlled? How could you tell? Because he said some science big boy words. Yo, how how did you survive? The plot demanded it. Hal, don't be so meta. And it's because I outsmarted the stupid mind control mechanism. Yep, that's how for ya. Hey Red, you got any brilliant schemes? Well, right now, no. Every time I try to think of a plan, Chef, they will always write out his counterattack right after. Hmm. Hold on a sec. A fortune cookie? Right now? I get it with desperate, but do we really need some wisdom of some dead guy to help us? Whatcha? You got any better ideas? I do eating! What does it say? Time is the wisest counselor. Time, 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 time. Ah! Ow! Good eye, Mike. Is it possible to increase the amount of time that we have? Like you said? I also hypothesize that maybe you can make Chuck time even more powerful. Yeah, but what could be more powerful than ultimate move Chuck time? Chuck time with my wind and bombs electricity. What are you thinking, man? I'm thinking we're gonna get Chuck the boost he needs to increase that one second. You think it's possible, Hal? Well, your wind can act as extra propulsion, and Bob can increase the power of the Chuck time, so I guess it's enough force to achieve that maximum acceleration. Any objections, Piggy? Well, it's never been done, but it's not impossible. Anything is possible in biology. Hold on, what's going on? Won't you guys get in the way of each other? Come on, Piggy, we're the Alpha Squad. Groville grouped us up so many times that we basically know everything about each other. For example, did you know that Bomb's favorite music to listen to our 80s music in R&B? I did, actually. I wrote that down. Oh, yeah, that's true. Back up, mates. This could get dangerous. <gasps> what the heck is going on over there? You'll never catch me, fool. <gasps> Not when I ship into maximum overdrive! <laughs> well, I'll be... Hey! Time... Speed of light! Eh? Huh? <laughs> 
my god, to my god, to my god! You lived in our heads for far too long, Shepard. As for rent, you're paying with your life! I'm rooting for them for punching a pig in the face. God, it took them about one second? Might, they're free falling! <gasps> Hang on, guys! Uh, they should be safe now. So they took down Chef Pig and took back the eggs. Wow, you guys are so cool! Yeah, don't you forget it. And they got my fan fiction back! Don't even think about it! Uh. Is that all you can do? Angry Birds, get over here! No more, so I'll focus on healing history! I still have to be your king! I'm afraid not, Chef Pig. Keep an eye on them, Foreman Pig! Oh, come on, you know I only have one good eye! Hey, wait a minute, I'll help y'all! Chef Fig, you have committed high crimes and misdemeanors in your first seconds of being king. Destroying property, abusing an excessive amount of power just to abuse your subjects, not to mention attempted pig slaughter, and deliberately breaking and disrespecting the law. Why should I respect what doesn't give respect back? Because as a king, you were held to high standards. And as a result, you must be respectable in the eyes of many. Which you clearly have not been. I am revoking your coronation, Chef Pig. Then again, I wasn't entirely conscious when I stupidly gave you the crown. And don't think you're getting out of this scot-free, Pinky. It's Gale, you dunce! And you expect everyone to believe that he is a better king than me? Oh. Why are you for me? I'm right! Did he go on a demonic rampage and cause significant collateral damage? Well, well... I rest my case. Your Highness? A true Your Highness? I will see to it you must be coronated immediately! Angry Birds, I think this is your cue to dispose of a sorry excuse of a pig. With pleasure. Good morning, Red. Good morning, Hal. Wow, Matilda, you work quick. Thank you. Good thing I'm gonna wait to see this happen. Piggy? Now what to write? Boys, why can't I be a part of this? I don't think us ladies can watch the chaotic energy so Is this what it's like to live with the Angabed Silver? You know it, Dad! All the things of freedom from manipulation and the repairs to the kingdom are quick. The end. Okay, your highness. The effect should kick in in a few seconds. Do what you gotta do. With pleasure, piggy. Hold him still, you two. Well, well, well. It's certainly going to be difficult to replace you as the chef. Any last words? Just know this, king pig. If you destroy me right here and now, you'll destroy the one chance that your subjects have to survive. You know they prefer me over you. So do you really think you're in the right to remove them of the king that's been taking care of them for the past few days? How are you going to live up to the expectations that I made for my servants? See, there's the problem with you, Chef Pig. You measure happiness based on how many people respect you. If you could only be happy with yourself first, you would have to go through all the hard work and labor trying to approve to the low classes of all people. I mean, seriously, what's up with that? And they don't know what it's like to have power. 
You treat them like horse poo. Isn't it the job of a king to provide for his servants? That is true, Shepard. But it's also a king's job to make sure that nobody takes advantage of his kingly powers, which you certainly have. Maybe you're better suited as a chef after all. You see, Chef, you may be smarter than me, but I have been king much longer than you. But that doesn't make you a good king. This is coming from the king who was just impeached. All right, that's it. Hold on to the snack, mate. I can always learn how to be a better king by taking care of the lower classes first. Like that will work. You're nothing but a fat idiot. And nothing will change that. You will never change who you are. I'm perfectly fine with myself, Chef Big. I'm a lazy and fat glutton. And I'm dang proud of it. But I'm also... Your king. Stupid birds and pigs working together. Uh, where's my crown? Where's my robes? <clears throat> Chef Pig, where have you been? Uh, uh, what do you mean, your highness? Like, I was like, wait, why are you so skinny? Monsieur, you used to be so fat then. Excuse me? You're gonna say I'm fat? You know what? You, you, get over here. <laughs> Where am I? Where's my crown? Yes, we lost our budget again. And this is what we have to do. We're gonna be what now? Round him up. Uh, wait, why are we fighting against Chef Pig again? He's one of us. Shh, they don't need to know. Where? Where am I? What is this place? What? What happened? <laughs> Your worst nightmare, Chef Pig. A storm is approaching. <laughs> Judgment cut. You son of a pork. I am motivated. Ugh, where am I now? What is this place? <laughs> huh? Sorry. <Sunday. laughs> Cooking for the piglins in the nether, you sick freak! Capital shot, your highness! Indeed, that was quite superb. Okay, you can stop now. What's your next order, your highness? Take those heathens out of my sight! Alright, Elvis, move! How did you know my name? Move! Take them to the jail. I was gonna serve my time eventually. Great job, everyone! Consider this boss level cleared! Alright! Good job, you mates! Oh, sorry, mate. Get on, scrub! Second. Hey girls, do you hear this? Do you know what this means? Cracks? Oh my yeah! gosh, guys, the eggs are about to hatch! Wait, what? No way! Oh, oh, I want to see! Yeah, me too! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! It's actually happening! Oh my, don't be so loud! Well, I can hear cracking, but... Can y'all hear anything else? Shh, don't ruin the moment! Uh, I'm not trying to ruin the moment. I'm trying to protect it. What? It sounds like... I'm getting real tired of you. Hey, what the? Why is everything on fire? Oh shoot! Good lord. How could this have happened? How does this affect the thoughts as well? To anyone who can hear this, there's an emergency going on outside Pig Castle. Chef Pig's lanterns are falling from the sky while setting fire to everything underneath. I'd vamoose while I still can. Fire? We gotta get the eggs out of here! Women and children first! There's a fire? Oh shoot, we gotta get out of here! 
Of all the trouble that you cost me, my friends, you don't deserve to live. Not before I solve world hunger, world poverty, racism, ice caps, and the two-party political system in the U.S. government. Oh, so good, I Get you out of here. Ah! ah! Red, are you okay? Yeah, this, this metal, it, it's so hot. There it is. We'll make it quick. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I thought we'd never get out of here. Ah! That's your meal. Speaking of which, hey, Red, you got any genius plans on how to get out of here? Hey, can't we just build up so that they can pick us up? There are no blocks in sight, and the metal ones are boiling to the point of melting. Good thing the eggs are safe. Chuck, grab me any straw I can find. I'm on it. So, Red, how do we get out of here? You can only hope, Nikki. We kill it. <coughs> oh, shoot. The smoke is getting worse. <coughs> here, use my mask. No, no, give it to Chuck. Ew, bad breath. Uh, guys? Yeah, Jake? Get the higher ground. Oh, good thinking, Jake. Thanks. Huh? Terrence isn't used to smoke as much as I am. And the ice cream's all melted. Not cool. Oh man, we could really use Isaac right about now. <laughs> Terrence, what's up, big dog? Whoa! Terrence! You alright, man? Whoa. Hey, I had to see you. Man, I would never understand you. Uh. Yo, I don't understand you at all. And I ain't complaining, man. Look at you coming in clutch as usual. Yo, Canna, can you read me? Dang it, man. It's stuck here. A radio short circuited. <coughs> Whoa, Terrence, hey, what are you doing? Whoa, oh, you saved my butt so many times. Don't overexert yourself. Don't do any more favors, man. I owe you so much. I'm broke. <laughs> if I can't be queen, nobody can. And who can be king or queen without a kingdom? Enemigos. Are you done with? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Good job trying to rescue the falling vehicle, Silver. I'm tired. It's time to get me something to eat. Isaac, let me see your wounds next. Isaac? Isaac, can you hear me? The 
before the wormhole I fell and opened to planet Earth. I fled with the last of my kind from the aliens persecuting us. I left a desolate wasteland, melting and suffocated by fire and brimstone. After I met the Angry Birds, I avenged my tribe with them once. The same aliens from my distant past returned for me. At last I perished under my watchful eye. I was a fool for fleeing again. Because anywhere I go, the aliens were always a few light years behind me. Now they commandeered Earth. Should I leave again? If so, all life on Earth might die because of my negligence. Will history repeat itself? No. Never again. Whoa, Isaac, don't tell me you're doing what I think you're doing! I know you want to get rid of your pyrophobia, but this isn't worth it! But you might... But you might hurt yourself! There's no other option, Matilda! If I can't stop the fire, no one can! If I get hurt, so be it! Either my life, or the rest of the planet! I'm not doing the same mistake again! As the other ones... This is when I finally redeem myself! Isaac! Come on, Max. The least we can do is to make sure that his injuries aren't that severe! Right! Isaac! You're not convincing me to go back! No, it's not that! Let us help you! Thanks, Earthlings. But your feathers might burn to a crisp. You might give in to the Black Plague. You mean, carbon monoxide? I'm the only one who could tolerate that black stuff. But Isaac, you're putting your life in danger! And if you follow me, you'll put Jessica's life in danger! I can always find another Jessica, but there's no way I can find another Isaac! I'm touched, honey. Take care of it, Let's get back! The only one who could defeat them is me! Shrimp! The burn stinks! However, it's nothing compared to the hell on earth that's going on down there. My comrades are suffering a worse fate. If they would risk their lives for their eggs, each other, and me, I must do the same! <sighs> This was to stop the fire for a while. Bubble, <laughs> the blue. I think. One. Yeah, this should bring some of the oxygen back. Oh, oh, thanks, Isaac. Aren't you gonna melt? Don't worry about me. I'm getting you all out of here first. Whoa! Don't worry. The pillars should be grooming until you escape the smoke. By then, the pigs should pick you up. Is it? Is that you? Come on, come on. Get it. It's still not working. Man, what are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. And is it true that Earth homies have each other's backs no matter what? That they do, that they do. Ooh, thanks, man. Now, Terrence. Come on, come on. Right. Oh, shoot, falling debris. Running out of energy. The eggs! What? And that fiend is making the fire worse! Bow down to your queen, peasants. Not on your life. Your lives, then! Get out of the way! I have to protect the next generation. Even if it means melting myself! Isaac. Isaac. Akiosa. Tumakbo ka abang kaya mo pa. At balhin mo itong itlog. Baka hindi na natin sila magpigil ng mas matagal. Kayon pa man, kung ang mga bulang apoy na ito ay muling mahabol sa iyo, lumapan ka. Ito ay may kapangyarihang kumatay mo ni huwag mo ikahiya mo sino tayo. Huwag kailanman magpigil upang protektahan ang isang tao. O ito ay mangyayami muli. It's time to get angry! <laughs> Why is it so cold? Huh? It's ice. I can't even see through it. Wait a sec. If there's ice, that means... Isaac? Ultimate move, Pog? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Stand back, Red, and Chuck. I am 
the screen. Be careful. Oh, why are you still alive? Because I made a voice. did it. I have paid my debt to my trophy. Oh shoot! I said! Quick, we gotta keep the eggs warm. Shoot! He has a fever! Hey mechanic, can you still read me? Actually, I am very, very hot, but I'm starting to increase in body temperature. Don't worry, Isaac. You're going to be okay. Matilda will pack you up. She always does. Yeah, don't worry, Red. I will. Yeah, but it might take longer than expected, you might. What do you mean? Uh, one second, Isaac. Sorry. Take a look at this supercomputer that Mechanic made. It's designed to track down blood flow, heart rate, and brain activity. I'm afraid his wounds are... Fatal. His nasal conscious, his zygomatic bones, and his maxillas are beyond repair. And all of his sutas, especially the coronal suta. And look at the posterior part of his zygomatic bone, toward his left eye. So wait, Matilda's always been a nerd? Well, considering she's a medic, she probably knows this kind of stuff. It's like the left side of his face is entirely paralyzed. Yo, docs, what does this mean? Well, it's gonna take a lot of water to cover his loss. And the rate he's melting is accelerating as we speak. And according to his heart rate, it's very, very low. He has it till two minutes until he's put into a coma. So, Isaac, I'd say my goodbyes while I still can. Crikey, doing a procedure on an alien? But don't worry, once all your ice is back, you'll be just fine. I understand. <laughs> Red, Ollie, Bob... You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now. Isaac, you mad lad. You saved our lives. We owe you one. You did, Isaac. I couldn't be prouder. You were the best center I ever had the pleasure of playing with. <laughs> nice. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> Soon, I will melt into water. Nourish the grass. And then, vegetation around Pig City will return. If I'm lucky. I might evaporate and become part of the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> then I'd really be part of Earth. No, Isaac, you're not gonna die. I promise you're gonna be okay. Red, it's okay. Stay with me, Isaac! I'm not losing another member of my family! I truly am a part of Earth. Your family? You've always been the family. Sweet home, Ella. <laughs> Really hard to breathe. Crocky, I'm assuming as a lungs are melting. Take it easy, Isaac. Save your strength. Isaac, you better not die. You better say, call me Buster. <laughs> I made a vice. Take care of the eggs for me. Oh. Let me see them one last time before I go. Here, Isaac. Here. Oh, the crabs are going. You see this, Isaac? You did this. They might not know who you are, but... <sighs> The cracks should be big enough for them to see you properly. Nonsense, I can see them just fine. <laughs> Yo, if you're gonna go for real... I I'm sorry, man. I'm forever messing with you. I know you were just trying to learn the ways of Earth, but... 
<laughs> I'm nothing but a fool, you man. This is quite sad. No pressure. I wouldn't have had it any other way, homie. Hey, that's what's up. Slim Shady, man. Slim Shady. <gasps> I finally fulfilled my duty. I protected the next generation. <sighs> Who was he, Jacob? He was a hero, Tim. You wouldn't be here without him. You're a good son, real good. Maybe even the best. This really is a solemn day. I will see to it that I'll update the Begora and honor his life. Wait, what's your name again? Oh, I'm Iceberg. I'm the guy from Angry Birds Space that's made of ice. Oh, so you're an Iceberg that everyone's talking about. <gasps> so I'm popular? Not really. <laughs> hey, stop laughing over there. I'm gonna be popular someday and you're not gonna believe it. Hey, was that really necessary? Yeah, am I made of ice? Really? Ah, he is one of them. Iceberg, what are you talking about? He is one of Soldiers. the aliens. Soldiers, saying your place is your heat of battle. You have this place in your cream of the ice age. And its strawberry overhead is contaminating the ecosystem's bottom base. Evil embers. Yes! Isaac and Ollie are back! That's my real name. And I've kept it for so long just in case any extraterrestrials may track me down. How? I'm experiencing disturbance right about now. I think I'm melting, especially through the eye sockets. <laughs> My, that's perfectly normal. They're tears. Tears? I'm immune to emotion. You have to guard your eggs with your life. What? Why? I'm not gonna risk my life for these eggs. Oh. Oh, hey guys. Well, uh, there we go. Soldiers! I sang your praises during the heat of battle. Why can't you get us some measly food? Uh, sorry, sir. I don't have enough money for chicken nugget. 007, I told you to return everything in pristine order and in one piece. Not return just one piece! Uh, it's two pieces now. I will pulverize you, you get here! Sir, I'm not sure if our troops can survive in these conditions. They're maggots. They don't know what true food is like. No, no, Corporal, I get it. We're void of having a roof over our heads, warm beds, and a decent bath. Now we're reduced to a bunch of mud puddles like these commoners. I'm starting to think why the lower class is the way they are. But still, we're hunting and gathering just like the Angry Birds does in the wild. How hard can it be? Why don't you do it yourself, your highness? Can't. I'm too busy making food of my own. This is what I came up with. Holy Cracker Bell, sire. That actually looks really good. I'll say, it's better than anything that Shepping makes. Actually, this is garbage I just tossed in together. Though it is pretty easy to make. I guess Shepping is better at making desserts after all. <laughs> it reeks, though. So, your highness, what are you going to do with it? Piggies, may I have your attention, please? Oh, oh, dear, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm 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 sor
to gain their trust again. Well, your highness, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go back to rebuilding the houses with my boys. Going to steal another one of my inventions, aren't you? Well, recently I've been building stuff myself. But that reminds me. I'm terribly sorry for turning all of your pacifist and albeit wimpy inventions into weapons of war. Which, mind you, I prefer. Hi, my. An apology from you? Now that we're not focused on stealing the bird's eggs anymore, what should we do now? Well, for one thing, I'm going to take care of all the pigs, including the low classes. It's nice to see that you're finally upholding your responsibility as the king of this. And I get to have a big pig army again, yay! <sighs> it's going to be difficult to get those maggots into shape. Well, we just hunt and get it like my friends do. Your friends? The angry birds, silly! Okay, now the world has truly gone mad. Don't pretend you don't enjoy it, hippie! Yeah, what he said! <sighs> I hope you're looking down at me, my beard. This truly is a start of new chapter. Speaking of new chapter... Time to write a new chapter! Wattpad's gonna go crazy when I publish this! Hold the phone, piggy, is that? That's right, Professor, it's Stella's famous diary! And it has all the deeds in time! How on earth did you get that without getting beat up? Dude, I'm side character. Side characters don't usually get noticed all the time. And I use that to my advantage! Oh, is he Well, the mites are recovering, that's for sure. But right now, I reckon this Bladjet's completely out of it. Recovering all of his ice and all. He saved us, that's for sure. As well as the eggs. I couldn't have been more grateful. I regret not saying this, but the cool guy's braver than me in any way. Too. Too soon. Oh, why do the good die young? The sad truth is, in a garden, everyone always picks the pretty flowers. Isaac blossomed into a fireproof plant, a soul as pure as the snow. Dang it, we didn't check the inner history of his computer! Shoot! Well, Isaac said something about saving the next generation. He really did. Yeah, at the very least, that's how we're gonna pay off his debt. Isaac, you can hear me. Your sacrifice wasn't in vain. I don't know what happened back at the home planet, but I... Alright, we can keep your promise for you. Leave everything to us. Get some well-deserved rest. Stay angry, Isaac. Oh, and uh, I had this. In case we had some extra leeway time to play hockey before we invade Piggy Island. Well, we got Piggy Island back, but at what cost? Well, you, of course. Why is everyone talking as if he's about to die? He's not gonna die, is he? Ah, the poor kid doesn't know. Hey, I'm not a baby compared to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Bubbles. You'll always be our little baby. Oh, excuse me. The ceiling's very low. It's nice to see that you youngins are still looking at the bright side, regardless of what's happening right now. As long as Isaac's memory is kept alive, he too will be kept alive. Don't worry, Matilda's the best of the best. That's right! I have just the healing herbs, regardless of the species. And I, I, you got me too. I'm currently studying his alien anatomy. I can't wait to start my case study. Who did see how his cells replicate? How low?! <laughs> <laughs> now don't you start, pal! Uh, that's funny. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo. You know what Isaac would say right now? Yeah, what? He would say something like, Yo, don't get your business up my face. What are you, some alien that's trying to get into me? What's going on? Why are you sussing me, baka? Why are you defiling me with this weird earthly behavior? The end is near! And I made a mice! <laughs> 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 oh, laughter really is the best medicine. Alright, let's reminisce about Isaac outside. That might need some rest. Isaac was a rip of a bloke. I'm assuming it's something good, so I'm gonna say he still is. Yeah, he still is, you're right. Wherever he is, he'll always be a part of the Hinger Grits. Oh yeah, speaking of which, Ollie, Tony, are you guys gonna go back to Finland now that everything is over? Well... Oh yeah, did you ever find the guy that you were after? He's actually the blonde pig who's obsessed with his wig. Really? What was he doing in Finland? I think he was an ambassador from Piggy Island. And I think he went from Finland and then Golden Island? Maybe to get troops. There are pigs in Finland? Oh yeah, countless. And you have no idea how many birds there are there as well. Wait, birds? 
he's not talking about the birds from Bird Island anyway. So what are you gonna do? We're actually planning on helping you raise the eggs once they're hatched. Speaking of which, how are they? Well, they crack, but ever since Isaac's ultimate blue, they've been asleep ever since. What's up, Terrence? What did he say? He's saying cracks. Oh my gosh, are they hatching? Man, guys, no, guys, I don't want to be a background character for this. this. Hey, hey, no, 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 Bubbles, are you sure the noise isn't coming from you? It's the mite eating lollies again. Gummy bells. But can you blame me? I'm so excited! Uh, Red, maybe we should, I don't know, help them hatch? No, no, Matilda. Let them hatch by themselves. Yeah, the mite's right. Hatching from an egg by yourself is the first test about survival of the fittest. <gasps> here he comes, here he comes. Mai doesn't have any feathers yet. Ew, it's so slimy. <laughs> Is that what I looked like when I was younger? Can't believe it. They, they finally hatched. Well, if it isn't a prophecy that's been proven true, they finally hatched. Yeah, it took them long enough. Sheesh. Yo, if this ain't a reason to stick around for this long, I don't know what is, man. Oh, here comes some more. Whoa. Whoa, which one hatched first? It's gonna be like the chick chip fiasco all over again! Ah, oh, look! They're matching! I can't believe it. After all the hardship that he'd been through, everything finally paid off. Whoa, they're going all over the place. That's because there's so many voices, right? Whoa, this one's coming towards me. You don't have the best singing voice, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but... Maybe he's a vibe checker. You're natural. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? No, no, so like this. Here comes the boy. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. There he is. He is. Red is finally a big brother. Crikey, Terrence, you can talk? Terrence, what do you mean? I have four kids on top of me right now. So, Holly. Are you really gonna have this? Oh, what? No! Gross! I only like her as a friend. Besides, we're different species. I don't think that'll work. You have to find out what species you are. Hey, 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 man, put that away. That's not scary. But can you blame me? I can't be the only one who's wondering why it took them so long to hatch. So now that we don't have to guard the eggs anymore, well, what do we do now? Yeah, now can we finally stop being so angry? Guys, meet me in that corner over there. Yeah, Red, what's up? Of course we're still going to be angry! While raising the kids, we need to be on even more high alert now. Now that they're not protected in eggshells anymore, they're at even bigger risk for more dangerous animals than the pigs. Angry birds, we can't retire just yet. Because this is the most important stage of our lives. Today, we leave our precious eggs at the door. Today, we will raise the kids just like Isaac wanted us to. Just like Isaac wanted us to. He would have loved to see them hatch. Today, we're going to be aunts and uncles to those kids. Not just any aunts and uncles, but the envies of all aunts and uncles. Yeah, Red's right. Come on, guys. Our days of being the Angry Birds are just getting started. It's time to show these senior citizens how to be truly hip with the kids. I'll drink to that. Chuck, not in front of the kids! Which kids? Could have said it better myself, Cole leader. Oh, Red, stop. Now, who wants to step up and... What's that noise? Sounds like my soul dying from the inside. Ah, stop being such a mood. <laughs> oh, Red, they're really noisy. Something happened? Who came after them? The pigs? Oh, no, no. I've seen this so many times before. They're hungry. Oh, right. Uh, we have to feed them. Uh, wow. I am not prepared. Neither are we. Uh, oh, can I feed them first? Uh, sure, I don't see one. And there he goes. Okay. Step aside. I always wanted to do this. What? Who was my big when I did it? It's 
completely solitary. Oh, come on, you bogans. It's how we live. Or it's sawn in nature. Don't get mad at it. Hey, Chuck, sunflower seeds, please. Where you headed? Wait, you're not going to eat the whole bag this time, right? Correct. Right. Okay. Well, here's what we got to do. First, you cut the seeds. Because God knows how helpless these guys are. They're not big shit. Can I feed them enough? All right. Turn to oatmeal and stuff. Then, you give it to them. Like this. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. Yep. See? How the frick are they so hungry? Dang, they got an appetite. <laughs> like silver. Yeah, my dad said I was pretty big for a baby. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them. They've been in the egg for what, like 10 years? They must be starving. Oh, no, give a few. See, this is how you feel. Okay, so, uh, kind of interesting. But I assume their beaks are very small. Hey, yeah, yeah, you're still going to get out of here. Hey, let me go. Let me say hello. Let me say hello. Let me say hello. Guys, guys, wait. If you overfeed them, they're going to. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Hit my hair. Get it off. Get it off. Yeah. Too much. And you said I would eat the whole bag? <laughs> you. Oh, they got you too, right? Well, let's just say my feathers are the only thing that's green on my face. Well, I can see that you're now the envy of all aunts and uncles. You got the babies to puke on you. You got the babies to puke on you before the parents. Oh, they're pranksters. I can't wait to be a big brother. Me too, Bubbles, me too. Ah, oh, little Jam's growing up. If I'm growing up, does that mean you're old men? Ah, ah. Aww. How could we stay mad at those faces? Hey, Angry Birds, not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about this next part of our fantastic adventures. Well, quite Where, dude, I can't wait to take them under my non-existent wings. Dude. Bro, I wanna be a cool Uncle Jesse, dude. You want them to turn into your personal fan club. We are not the same. Oh, adorable. Oops, sorry. Oh, Isaac would love to see them. And I'll give them a better childhood than mine. That's a promise. Whatever's gonna happen, Angry Birds, it's time to get angry. Good morning. Now, good morning to you. Guys, guys, they're about to say the first words. Dang, they pick up quick. Oh, I wonder what it's gonna be. I hope they say free shop on the new. Aww. You talking to me? Am I talking to me? Do I look 